Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Minor Magic 3 Horn of the Abyss. It's the Forged in Fire campaign. We last left off we'd clear these enchanters which will allow Frederick to gain access to this star axis. He'll also be the one that needs to go through this quest gate. We might as well do this area now, see what's going on. We're going to have uh, Henrietta here sort of make her way towards the Cyan two-way portal because we are trying to set up a pseudo chain, a, ch a chain of sorts, some could say, perhaps a chain of memories. That's the wrong. That's the wrong franchise. Um, but we're doing that, so we're going to position Tancred a little bit further along, just to actually make this possible from the looks of it, thereabouts. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do up here next turn. So these purple heroes are wandering about. We will have to eventually deal with this um, swan character, but not in any immediate rush. Let's have Henrietta make her way down. Obviously we can't lose her, so there's a mild concern about that, but hopefully we'll be fine. Um, let's continue with this requisition of the forces. We can get Bertram up to, like, here, I want to say. So, Ewan can not quite reach there. What about hiring an additional hero? That's got possibilities. We just need to get rid of an existing hero if we're going to do that. Hmm... Okay, what we'll do is we'll have Ian pop out like so. She'll grab these two units and head into town. She'll then garrison herself inside the town and we'll hire Todd to bring the troops back out again. Of course, we'll be upgrading absolutely everyone in the whole wide world. Because that's the way we roll. We'll also bring these gunslingers as well. So this will be nice. We'll drop one extra here as well for Todd to hold on to. You can actually reach Tancred in one go, so we might as well not faff around and just make it happen. But we could do the Trailblazer on the way, because it will actually make us have an extra one movement point. So we get away of it just fine. So, um, might as well just hand over the first day tent while we're here. Todd apparently had this leftover from before. Okay, excellent. Let's have Tancred move down to Sam. We'll swap over these units like so. Tancred can then move back up. We'll start thinking about getting these dudes upgraded. Um, and Sam can pop into the portal. But which portal? I think this portal seems pretty good. So next turn we can meet up, well we'll be here next turn, probably there the following turn, but we'll be slowly able to meet up. In the meantime we have Frederick here gathering the Star Axis, this is excellent. We'll probably need to have Henrietta visit the Star Axis as well, actually she, she has already done that, that's excellent. Okay so in that case we'll proceed, we'll have Frederick top off, off the Magic Spring, and let's see what we can do about these um... These are unicorns, eh? Shouldn't be a problem. Foybit, of course. Frolicking among the various warehouses. We do need to do so. And we do need to eventually get up here and clear out these... Mystic Orb of Mana and so on. I think we're fairly close to that, I want to say. I'd need to do an inventory of my um, items again, but... For now, we'll just carry on. Uh, Boyd, of course. He might as well grab the... Graveyard... Just unite these to grab eight more skeletons. Make our way over to the skeleton transformer, and we'll go from there. Murder the dragons, get them upgraded, and then we'll carry on. Bertrand can go back to his place. This is probably not quite as ridiculous as I first thought. Like, you're getting so many resources in this mission, but <laughs> let's carry on. Yep. 
So Purple's not being an immediate threat. We will, of course, just need to make sure that Burton's going to be safe, but it, it frankly should be, so... We'll also really need Frederick to come over here and open up this, um, white border guard. Or we just use dragons, which might actually be quite effective. I might do that, actually. Excellent. Let's now head over to Sky, the Seer. <clears throat> so what's Todd going to be doing? We can visit the Warehouse of Wood as an interim thing to do, I guess. Maybe we'll get Todd to just explore the remainder of this ocean here, because there's this quest guard here that's looking interesting. So let's have Todd head south. See what's going on. Bertram can stay in place. We'll come back to Frederick in a moment. I do like the idea of Henrietta just having the full army, because it just means that she's a little bit safer. Okay, let's progress with Frederick. It's a nasty fight without any additional speed augmentations. But the enchanters, of course, well, they come in clutch. We can continue to improve upon their spellcasting with our own, we shall cast Bless. Then we shall fire upon the war unicorns. Well, the bounty hunters get work done by themselves, don't they? And their morale is low, as it should be. Because they're about to get shot with gun. It's a pretty demoralizing affair, frankly. I think we're wearing the Pendant of Downfall now that I think about it, which is probably explaining why the, the horses are so sad. Let's allow them to make a few more steps closer towards us. I don't understand how the AI lost so much, considering the mass slow that the enchanters automatically casted. But maybe they just didn't have good target priority, I guess. Because, like, I can come down here with a nice rifle butt, which moves myself out of the danger of this particular unicorn, right? So... One unicorn stack remains, or two unicorn stacks, but this one's insignificant. The, uh, the enchanters do a good job there. Okay, well I need to cast slow one more time here just to make sure this guy actually dies. There we go. A nice, nice clean kill. Eight additional gems. What's in the quest guard? Okay. A magical barrier blocks the entrance to the ancient pyramid, and your power is not enough to lift it. The stones at the entrance depict dragons and snakes, and the entrance is covered in inscriptions. You also notice four small niches in a wall by the gate. After quite a while, you finally manage to decipher some of the words. Tongue, shield, tabard, necklace. Could they be referring to artifacts? Well, they almost certainly are, which means we're going to need to gather those artifacts if we're going to open this quest guard. And I think that is the corner of a pyramid, which could give us a powerful level 5 spell. It could be yet another magic mirror, but I have a feeling it might not be. It does mean, however, we're done here for the time being. We need to press on. And it also means, yes, we are going to be trading for this dragon scale shield. Um... We can, we can always use the Pendant of Courage instead of the rings, I guess. Um, and we'll have to just see where the remaining artifacts are. Like, we do have Henrietta wielding the Red Dragon Flame Tongue. So that's something. So, oh, she's actually got... Uh, she's got the Quiet Eye of the Dragon and she's got the Badge of Courage. Now, where's the other Eye of the Dragon? Um... It isn't here, although there's a, a morale artifact, so we need to 
We do need to meet up and just make sure the artifacts make sense. Okay, Boyd is the remaining uh, Eye of the Dragon. I don't believe I've seen the Dragonwing Tabard anywhere. So that's a thing. Nonetheless, we shall be back. But now we shall press on. Henrietta could probably go just to kill the... Well, this probably needs forgetfulness, frankly, but... It's going to just be a nasty fight, whoever does it, so... Alright, let's end turn. So, Boyd. Thank you for upgrading the dragons. Let's head down to the Corsairs. I could potentially leave everything except the ghost dragons inside here. But we might need some uh, meat to sort of back up the dragons, so to speak. Okay. I still think we should probably deal with Fort Kralon sooner rather than later, just to get it out of the way. Did Henrietta visit this learning stone? She did not. How slack! Nonetheless, we do have some fresh artifacts. So... We might as well take these for now, because... Henrietta doesn't need to be carrying them, let's be honest. <laughs> um, let's just transfer everything over. Better. And Sam can head off. Actually, there's some enchanters here we can hire. That will be useful for Frederick. There is a warehouse of gems. It might be useful to sit on that later, but for now, let's progress. Box in Newland here. Kill him next turn. Foybet can go down here. Might as well visit this warehouse of sulfur. We do need to keep that resource production going. We might actually want to head up to this Sears hut in the end. Because um, we're not too far off the resources required, so, you know, it's a possibility. So this guy has middling amounts of troops, but yes, he's dead. I don't think he can take Burton by any means, but certainly it's like, okay, well, I should respect the fact that this guy is physically present. I think I... Did I forget to hire additional troops? I have a feeling I might have done. Well, mistakes were made in any event. Let's have Tancro deal with this particular upstart. He's got sufficient strength, he's got decent skills. He should be able to make this happen fairly easily. So, um, yeah, might as well. The enemy flees with minimal fuss. But let's see what we can do. It's all about just retaining our units as best as possible, of course. We have a nice speed advantage because of the uh, wasteland terrain, giving our units quite a nice little performance boost. Just gauging how much the automatons are going to get beat up. A mass cure. It's 
send in the armadillos. Box them down. I think we'll cast haste here. Oh, we don't even need to. We can just walk forward and repair. We may be able to get a kill. Look at that. Excellent. Tancred is becoming a little bit more powerful. And a threat has been dealt with. I like dealing with threats. As far as we're going over here... We might as well grab the Warehouse of Gems and then proceed. Sam can stop off and grab some enchanters. And we'll have those transferred over to Frederick. We'll flag the shipyard and we'll have Todd board and we'll get him to investigate this area. Um, we can, let's just try as is with Todd to see what we can... Sorry, Boyd to see what we can do down here. As far as Henrietta goes, she should be able to do this fight with no problems really, but... Yeah. And she's now leveled up to level 18. Excellent. Um, well... It's quite ironic that she's actually leveled luck so little, but I think it's... Let's just finish off leveling our tactics, right? She can work on her luck as uh, she's wrapping up everything else. Malcolm's should probably going to be our next target. Um, again, I don't see why not. So, here... We probably want to do something like this. Let's give it a go. And that's pretty good. I'll take that. And we just raise 47 back anyway. That being said, we do need to make sure we are not grabbing here. Oh, well, there's the Drake Nicholas of Dragon Teeth. Okay, well. <laughs> this was important. <laughs> it is the beginning of a great and wonderful friendship. At the very least, the acquisition of loot. So we're going to get some ore, we're going to get another chest. Technically Boyd can level once more. Let's rescue whoever's in this prison, shall we? And it's Rathmont. He has three dragons, 26 Medusa Queens and 74 Harpy Hags. A rather bizarre army, but we can hand over the dragons to get converted into additional ghost dragons. That's something we can do. I don't see why not there. It's not carrying anything of note, but we can have him carry the ring that we know is required over there. Um, speaking of requirements, Boyd could probably go up here, because I think we've got everything, don't we? Oh no, Henrietta was holding the hourglass level hour, was it? No, Frederick's got it. Okay. Well, Rathmont can be a little bit of a go-between. Where's the closest portal? It's there. Well, off you go. Visit the stables. Alright, good good job, Boyd. We've managed to get one accomplishment sorted. We probably should do this. I'm also tempted to unlock this quest guard and upgrade the sandworms into Orgoy Korkoy. I think that's got potential. So, Warehouse of Mercury. Excellent. Let's return these troops back to town. Alright, Frederick. Yeah, let's just keep making our way down here. Henrietta just bonks that dude.
And then we'll bring reinforce Frederick. We'll grab this so we can start palming it off to the right people. As well as this as well. I don't think anything else is too relevant, although we can have you wear this. Because why not? Um Yeah, I think that's basically about right, but let's give you a nice big army again. That being said, these guys are just going to get murdered by towers. As are the enchanters. But if we did like this, then the enchanters are going to die for sure, and then everything else just gets cleaned up by the ranged fire, right? Okay, we'll give that a go. This might be a bit ambitious. We'll see what happens next turn. Okay. We might as well do everything, all the housekeeping first. You know, when it comes to the Statue of Legion, how close are we? Because I just noticed that there's the, uh... The arms are over here in the minimap. I think we're just missing... The feet? Is that a thing? Yeah, we're just missing the feet of Legion. So let's crack open the quest guard. Rebuilding the destroyed fort. And we'll upgrade these or these sandworms and orgoy corkoy. We won't upgrade the skeletons. Let's head to town. I think for now the one pirate will remain as a, sp a spare person, but... Alright. Do we have enough to conquer this town? I think that's an interesting question. Well, let's also keep making it interesting. And we'll have some additional enchanters. Like so. Okay. I think it is worth the save. Let's have a look. Well, that's just free. Let's kill him, though. Okay, no artifacts, but now we know for certain. Let's attack. So it's not a great odds. So this is to be expected. The enchanters are disposable. So the free haste I will absolutely take. The first thing I need to cast is mass forgetfulness. Excellent. Because there's a lot of nasty shooters. With a lot of, uh, a lot of people behind them too. What well, they're coming out to play. Time to cast that mass slayer. Already there's, there's so much going on here, isn't there? The cure doesn't help. Six gunslingers killed it by accurate shots. 
Wow. Look, I'm playing here. Why did you ask me this question? <laughs> this isn't auto combat. <laughs> but the big problem is that if there's mass cure as a factor, that's going to make this much more complicated. We will try another strategy. What can we try separately? We don't have access to teleport. We do have access to clone. But the walls, of course, are a problem. Maybe this is a case of we want golden bow. Okay. Well, they'll keep for now. Let's have us try for the golden bow first. It's also this green dragon box, which is interesting. So, oh, there's another prison too. Okay. Well, we'll make our escape for now. We'll get the other items, and then we'll return. So what do we need for this? We need the endless bag of gold and the endless purse of gold. Okay. So, I believe Sam currently is holding those? Yes. She could make her way to here, and then we trade via the water. It might take about as long, though, to do that as not. Well, we'll see. Next turn. It's week of the weasel. Time for six more sandworms, and I would believe another six sandworms. You betcha. And over here we're going to grab the halflings. Miles of Todd land, it's going to take long enough. Henrietta just being that little bit faster. <laughs> okay. Time for Bertrand to do his thing. Nice progression. I think we're ready to upgrade these sandworms into more Orgoy Corkoy. So those these creatures have a unique ability in that they can burrow underground as normal, but they can also devour corpses, and every time they do so, they gain an additional um, melee attack when they strike. So they can attack th th thrice or even you know four times in a row, just off of one. You know, whack of that. There is the white two-way sea portal. I'm curious. Boy doesn't have a lot to do right now. Let's send him on an adventure. Hello, Rathmon. What are you holding? And Henrietta's holding the other one? She is. All right, hand it over. Got 
Thank you. Frederick can then open this. Henrietta... Basically can just go back to town, I suppose. Well, she needs to go clear this lot up here. So... I was like, why are we not going in the right direction? <laughs> These two should meet up next turn. Might even meet up this turn if we're lucky. Oh, indeed we are. I don't know if that's actually going to save us time, though, but... I guess we shall see. In the meanwhile time, Sam can go back to this. And we shall enter. I think we're just about called cool a video though. We've had some progress. I'm gonna have to think about that enemy town for a few moments. There's certainly some difficulty to be had there. Uh, let's go claim this dragon and get the other one killed off. Uh, especially because we're waiting for Rathmont to come back with the uh, Hourglass of the Evil Hour. Might as well take the reinforcements. And be on our way. Soon Todd's adventure will be completed. I thought I had the guy. Oh, did... I left them on Henrietta. Whoops. Well, let's go get it. <laughs> Tanker can be the go between next turn. We're still missing one of the morale artifacts anyway, so I think Henrietta's adventure is a little bit presumptuous. We could at least do this part, get rid of the Bone Dragons done. Yeah, we don't have the Crest of Valor, but Miles, Miles will do that while we're here. Sam could potentially be in trouble. Possibly. I think that this wraps up the episode nicely. We're just going to make sure Sam gets out of dodge. I'm going to unlock this. An old shaman stands in the road before you, shouting something in a language you can't understand. He suddenly vanishes in a cloud of smoke. When the smoke clears, there is a long string of dragon teeth in the spot where he was standing. It's a nice artifact that honestly I wouldn't mind using, but if it's going to unlock a powerful spell, then maybe that's the secret to victory that we're missing. So, you know. Basically, it's almost time for, uh... Well, I don't think Frederick can go back just yet, because we've only got, what, two of the dragon artifacts? So, more to come. But, in the meantime... We shall call it a video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time right here 
at Conflux Games.